Okay, so here we are at uh, day one of the low-cost thermal imaging project and I'll show you uh, what I've made today just show you how it works first and then uh, give you a little bit of an explanation so this is a totally passive device that I made out of uh, liquid crystals and a germanium lens and as you can see it's focusing the heat from this uh, thermal strip heater onto the liquid crystal screen and then you can view it as uh, a heat pattern so if I leave it in one place and then put my hand between the heater and the liquid crystal viewer you can see it dissipate and as you can see the response time really isn't that good it's measured in seconds and if I move it away from the source it takes quite a while for the screen to go completely black but this is a pretty interesting uh, development I thought So as you can see here the um, the distance actually is pretty good we're about six feet from that uh, strip heater and um, still manages to show a pattern on the screen faint but there okay so let's talk about how this thing is made it's it's actually quite simple the most uh, unusual part is this germanium lens on the front so even though it looks like it's um, opaque actually it is opaque to a uh, visible light it's transparent to long wave infrared so I got this lens off of eBay uh, but they're relatively easy to find and not astronomically expensive I paid about uh, $40 I think for this off eBay and brand new maybe they're a hundred dollars or something like that but um, they're not as difficult to find as the actual thermal imaging elements the microbolometers so we have the lens on the front of this thing and uh, the screen is a piece of very very thin plastic shopping bag this is probably polyethylene it's about a half a thousandth of an inch thick which I stretched over the um, a piece of uh, acrylic tube it's not done very well this is all just slapped together to test it out and then I painted the shopping bag with black spray paint meant for plastic and then sprayed a very thin layer of this uh, liquid crystal paint from Edmund Scientific and I used a, a little airbrush to do that so that's really all I did I just wanted to see how well this was going to work The liquid crystal paint is actually pretty cool stuff to play with in its own right. I just used this plain old piece of paper as a backing when I was spraying the, uh, the little thermal imaging screen. And uh, just the scraps are actually pretty fun to play with. It seems very expensive. The paint was about 30 or 40 dollars for that little tiny uh, vial there. But it really does go a long way. So the next steps will be to uh, see if I can increase the, the spatial and temporal resolution of this little screen here. I don't really know how easy that's going to be. Uh, it might be kind of impossible, but I'm thinking about using something even thinner than this plastic half thousand shopping bag. Um, maybe some sort of a surface that has bristles that stick out so the tips of the bristles will contain the color change, uh, the liquid crystal paint and that way they'll have an even lower thermal mass than that thin plastic bag. So this is day one and we'll see where we go from here.